Today is my very, very belated final and fifth, or fifth and final, um, Bibliophilism Favorites series. The first one was my favorite book spines, second was my favorite inside covers, third was my favorite naked books, fourth was my favorite book covers, and this is my favorite books. I'm not going to show you all of my favorite books, just because some of my favorite books, like the stories inside of the, like, book packaging, um, are, like, like some of those books that are my favorites. I don't like the book cover or like how the book looks. For instance, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which is my second favorite book, um, is not in this video or it's not one of my favorites because I don't like this cover. I know a lot of people do um, because they don't like have these like orange penguin ones um, and they really like how simple they are and I do too and um, I actually like that the spine does not crease very easy. Like there's no creases in mine and I've reread this three times maybe in this actual book in this book so it's done very well um and it was really cheap um but like it's v like very available in australia so i feel like i don't like it as much and it's kind of simple and i want a more like extravagant cover for my favorite or second favorite book and also it's small it's like a mass paperback size which i don't like so yeah that's what i mean like these are only going to be the favorite stories of mine that are also in books that I like. Like in like books that look nice, if that makes sense. Okay, let's start. The first book I have to show you is this. I showed this in my last video maybe. This is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. I really like the cover of this. I think yeah, I think this is my favorite covers. Um, I also really like the spine as well, like the kind of faded from dark blue to light blue and then the little cat that's over there. Um, and I just, I like the way that the book looks. It's very simple, very beautiful. It was $10, always a good thing, and I love the story so much. It reminds me of Jane Eyre, or Jane Eyre, um, and someone actually recommended this to me. I think Mike did. I can't remember his channel name, but he, like, left BookTube to be a teacher. Um, but yeah, he, re like, recommended this to me, I think, and I really love it. And it's one of my favorite stories. It's a very, like, very peaceful, very nice soothing but still really interesting story and it's in a diary form. Another book that I've also shown in a different video in this series is this. This is Serafina by Rachel Hartman. Um, did I show this in a- yes I did, in my last video, right? This is also one of my favorite stories. It's just so amazingly well written. It's not like fast paced by any means, but the whole way through I was completely engrossed and completely like- I was just like in the story and I didn't want to leave. Like it wasn't- I very rarely like feel like I need to read a book when it's not fast-paced and when there's not like lots of action. Like when it's sort of slow burning, I can go away and come back. But for this book, I kind of just wanted to stay there the whole time. Um, I love the book. I love the characters, and I can't wait for the next book in the series, which comes out I think in 2015. So very, very excited for that. The next book was also in a different video that I did in the series, and it is this: The Diviners by the Bray. Um, I think I did a video about the inside cover, or the, the naked, how it looks naked, this book. But like this book is probably the most well put together book of all the books I have. Like the spine is beautiful, the cover is beautiful, like there's so much detail. The inside cover is like this nice olive color, and then also it looks beautiful naked, and the like, spine looks beautiful naked as well. I really really hope that in the next book in the series they make in addition just like this to match because if they don't then I will be very upset and that's all because what else can I do? The next book is this. This is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I love this story so much. It's one of the very few books that has made me cry. I love the story so much. I love 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 the cover. It's so simple but so beautiful. Um, I also like the spine but it like there are some creases because I was living in a different house and the postman or mailman at that house used to like shove books into the mailbox even if they didn't fit. Um, so there are some creases on the spine because of that, but I still love it either way. It just is so beautiful and just, I love it. I love it. The next book is my favorite book ever and it is The Child Thief by Brom. This book is just so creepy and so beautiful. I just, I love the way that it looks. I love the illustration of Peter on the cover and it's just so, so creepy and I just love all the detail about the book. Um, I just love it and it also has like the flap thing going on and then as I've shown you before it has illustrations at the start of each chapter and then it also has 
Where is it? It also has like colored illustrations in the book, which is just so awesome. And I just love how this book is put together. It's amazing and it's just such a great story. And the final book I have to show you, which is probably my most favorite book out of everything I own, is this book right here. This is The Complete Grimm's Fairy Tales, illustrations by Arthur Rackham, and it's by the Grimm brothers, Willem and Jacob. Um, yeah, it has, I think, 200. And 11? 211 tales from the Grimm Brothers, including Hansel and Gretel, Rapunzel, the Golden Goose, the Little Red Cap, Cinderella, Rumpelstiltskin, and the Frog King. It has kind of like this metallic gold with the green um, forest thing going on. I just, I love how it looks. This is the actual book. It's cloth bound, hardback. It's beautiful. I love the way that it looks as well. And it has a gold ribbon somewhere in here. Where is it? Here is the gold ribbon, um, and yeah, it's just so beautiful, and then the inside cover looks like that. It's this, like, tree trunk kind of thing in metallic gold as well that, like, is the same as the, um, the, like, box thing that it comes in, and it has, obviously, illustrations by Arthur Rackham. There are, like, black and white illustrations throughout the book, and there are also colored illustrations, which I will show you as soon as I find here, colored illustrations as well are really beautiful. So these are all the books that I showed in this video, my favorite books. They're so beautiful. And that is it. That is all of the videos of my Bibliophilism Favorites series. And that's the last time I'm going to say that word. Um, if you want to post your favorite books this week, then you can do so using the hashtag Bibliophaves or Bibliophilism Faves. Said it again. Um, and yeah, I will be checking all of that if you like post a video on YouTube or if you post pictures on Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr. Um, I'll be reblogging and retweeting and like sharing all of my favorites. And yeah, I think I'm gonna make like a playlist and I'll put it in the description box of all the videos that people have made and all the videos I've made. And then also I'll be um, like making a collage for Instagram of all the pictures that people have made. And then on Instagram, no, that was Instagram. On Tumblr, I will be um, making like a post and then putting all the links to everything on there. So yes, thank you so much for like joining with me and doing this little series. And I had so much fun and yeah, that's it. I look forward to seeing all your pictures and videos and that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.